Hello, welcome back to PLSQL tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about visibility of package. So, essentially, visibility rules of package. Okay. So, this is the package we have created in our last class, last video, where package name is demo package. We have two functions and one procedure, and inside this package body we define those functions and procedures all right so what you are seeing here is a subset of what we can do so what i'm going to show you here in this in this video what kind of functions what kind of procedures what kind of constants what kind of variable that we can we can have in package and what we can do with those variables and what we cannot do with those variables so you know these things are very intuitive and you can just figure it out yourself but what I'm going to do I'm going to summarize those intu intuitions in one video alright so this is what I'm a more generic package is going to look like what I'm saying is I have a package named XYZ I have a variable X number which is assigned to 10 what this is called this is called a global variable so global package variable and then what I have seen I just shown that I have a function f1 I have procedure p1 p2 so don't worry about syntax I just want to give you a concept here and not worried about syntax so what I have said in my package xyz specification that I have a global variable x which is called packaged variable and I am going to have implementation of one function f1 and two procedure p1 and p2 then inside the package body I have defined another variable and this variable is called private variable okay so this is a private variable that means this variable is accessible inside the package body then what I have defined here I have defined function f1 here so what this function f1 here is basically a public function okay so this is a public function this is a public procedure this is a public procedure and those public functions and procedures are implemented inside the package body as, as shown here so this is the definition of packet of function f1 similarly this is the definition of procedure p1 and if you see inside this procedure p1 I have another variable a and this variable is called local variable okay and this local variable is only valid for this procedure p1 okay so look we have a global variable which is x we have a private variable which is y and we have a local variable which is a x is accessible inside this package body and outside this package body whereas y is only accessible inside this package body whereas a is only accessible inside this procedure so that is the difference between x y and a okay so and then again this p1 is a public procedure that is defined public procedure that is defined here inside this package body xyz then I have procedure p3 but look at the procedure p3 procedure p3 is a special kind of procedure because I do not have a in, in my package specification I do not have any mention about p3 so what procedure p3 is essentially this is a private procedure that means I cannot I can only call procedure p3 from any of this function like p1 any like procedure like p1 or functions f1 so procedure p3 is only accessible inside the scope of this body xyz okay you cannot call procedure p3 outside this body then what I have defined I have defined procedure p2 because 
since I mentioned procedure P2, I must have an implementation. So the implementation of procedure P2 is coming here. And then, so what I'm, I'm doing here, inside this procedure P2, I'm calling P3. That is all right, because P3 is a private procedure inside package body XYZ. Since procedure P2 is a part of package body XYZ, therefore P3 can be called within procedure P2. Okay, so let's see like you know what we can, what is legal. Okay, you can call this function, this uh, global variable outside the package. That means you go to your SQL prompt and what you can do, you can write a anonymous block begin and then what you can do, you can do dbms output put line and then you just call this method uh, this uh, variable like xyz dot x okay so and then end so what is going to happen this anonymous block is going to print 10 because since x is a global x is a package variable i can access outside the package however I cannot do x y g dot y because y is a is a private variable which is defined inside the package body it can only be accessed in any of this function f1 or procedure p1 p3 or p2 therefore that is not allowed okay then go to sql prompt and you can basically execute xyz dot f1 that is fine because f1 is a public function and then you can execute in sql prompt by this by calling the package name dot function name however you cannot do execute xyz dot p3 okay because p3 is a private procedure and this p3 is only accessible inside this package body you cannot just do from outside okay so this is what is called the rules and then this is very intuitive as i told because whatever mentioned in the package specification those are kind of global variable or global functions or public functions whatever is inside those things are private and those things can be only accessible inside the uh, you know package body so this basically leads us a very interesting thing about hiding the code so what we can do let's say we have a procedure p3 and p1 which is which is very important we do not want to show this code to somewhere outside what you can do you can create this procedure p1 p3 as private procedure that means you do not have to declare those things inside this create package and then you can create a wrapper function or wrapper procedure from which you can from where from where you can call this procedure All right so therefore like you know, even say for example you like you know you say for, an, another use case is that say p1 and p3 might change if those things might change then create those things as a private procedure or private function and then call from something else and because these are the function these are the procedure you are going to expose to outside world that means the number of parameters or I mean, all the data type cannot be changed like once you make those things those things are fixed and other people like you know in, in like in this anonymous block i'm going to call so I don't want to go on and change this thing often. So instead, whatever is dynamic or whatever I don't want to show outside or I don't want to bother about, put those things as a private procedure or private function and then you can create a wrapper around that and then expose that wrapper function to the outside world. And this is basically essentially, you know, in our last video, we are discussing about advantages, advantages of package and this is one of the very important advantage all right and then 
is another case that we might need say for example in this case let's say you, we write a anonymous PLSQL block in anonymous PLSQL block we are declare x as a number and then we have begin and end and inside we are going to write some statements and all this thing on PLSQL statement so what you see this x is only valid for execution of this PLSQL block once we are finishing this end the x is gone but is not is necessary that we should have some constant or we, we have some variable which we want to keep all across the user session that means say let's say for example this is an user he connects to the oracle database and he wants to execute something so and then he wants to connect and in a SQL prompt he is trying to give some commands and all this thing right so if there are something that is needs to be that is a constant or that needs to be kept across the complete session then what we can do we can create a package with specification like create package ABC and then what you do we give a number B number and C is a virtual 2 and so on okay so this is the end of package end of ABC and then look like you know what we have done here we just declare couple of variables and what these variables are these variables are called packaged variable or global variable okay we do not have any functions since we do not have any functions or procedure then we do not need to write any package body all right so this is called bodyless package so what is the use of bodyless package the use of bodyless package is whenever we want to create a variable and we want to make that variable persist across the complete user session then let's create a package spec, spec with couple of um, variable and whenever you access first time that variable all these things are loaded to your UGA user global area area of your uh, uh, user session okay and then that is kept you know those things are kept and then those things can be accessible or can be also modified in that user session so that is why we need a special kind of package where we just have only the spec nobody so as we discussed last time that we can have a you know the package specification is mandatory but package body is not mandatory and here is the case where we do not have any package body we just have only a package specification so this is all about the visibility rule that you need to understand.